Hello friends, welcome back to yet another commute talk. Today I thought I would tell you a quick WebKit story again, um, yet again about the time when Google left WebKit to make them fork Blink. So uh, right after the fork happened, both uh, WebKit and Blink immediately uh, seized the opportunity to start throwing out everything that belonged to the other party. So like the moment Blink left, we started throwing out everything related to uh, Google and Chromium uh, from WebKit, and obviously they were doing the same thing on their side. But um, um, on their side, they had like a lot more stuff that they were able to remove, right? Because um, in WebKit, we still we still kept we still had um, many ports at the time. Uh, there were at least like uh, GTK, EFL, Qt, um, probably some more ports that uh, I, somehow I don't remember at the moment. But there was oh yeah, the Windows port. There were many ports um, in the tree at the time, and uh, Google uh, they had the freedom to remove a lot more stuff than we did. Um, and for some reason, uh, they uh, went and bragged about it, and they said, um, I, I don't know where this came from originally, but one day I uh, woke up and opened up the tech news websites that I read in those times, and they all had this big article about how Google removes 8.8 .8 million lines of code uh, from WebKit after forking it. And I remember we all, <laughs> all of us in the WebKit project, we all thought like, wow, that's a crazy number of lines that you've been able to uh, remove. Um, amazing, in fact, since WebKit itself is like less than 4 million lines. But still, they, Google was uh, running around telling everyone that they were able to remove that much. Uh, but I think the, the truth and the pudding was uh, something more that uh, along the lines of 8.8 .8 million lines of um, like unit test output or something like that that was gone. Because WebKit has a lot of unit tests or layout tests as they're called. And uh, basically a layout test is an HTML file that is expected to produce a certain output. And um, the output can be something like a, like a raw text dump of the rendered page, or it can also be uh, a dump of the um, rendering tree that WebKit built for that page, um, and it, or it can be like a PNG with a screenshot of the page. But anyways, uh, because because Google no longer needed all of the all of the layout test results, like the reference results, basically for all the different ports that they no longer had to maintain, they could delete all of them. And I think that's where they got the 8.8 .8 million lines of text or WebKit code. Uh, and so after this, it became a very strong meme. Um, whenever you were removing something from WebKit that was Google related, that you could say that uh, this patch removes 8.8 .8 million lines of uh, V8 bindings or whatever. Uh, it was always like you're removing 8.8 .8 million lines of something. And I was a very uh, frequent uh, memer of this myself. And um, I kept I kept making dumb jokes about this until one day one of my dumb jokes about it made it to the front page of Hacker News. And it was like a, a commit that I made where the commit message was something like remove 8.8 .8 million lines of shadow dom code and uh, it ended up ended up on hacker news and people were talking about like wow look at apple they're removing all of that shadow dom stuff um this was back in the time before web components was out and like there was all this confusion about how web components should work and i guess uh, what's today referred to as like shadow dom b0 was in the tree but it was it was a mess um and so, but my commit, it only removed, I don't know, like 30 lines or something, but it still generated this huge discussion, like, wow, a Shadow DOM is really 8.8 uh, .8 million lines that they can remove? It's crazy. Uh, but 
at that point the joke got a little too much attention so I I didn't I didn't like that attention so I, I stopped it at that point <laughs> um, and I apologized to my manager at the time for drawing this unnecessary attention to an, what was essentially a negative joke or a, a diss if you will Oh yeah, that's how that fizzled out. 8.8 <laughs> 8 million lines of code. That's, that's a lot of code. If anyone can ever remove 8.8 .8 million lines of code from a project, damn, dude. I'd like to see that patch. That's a very, very red patch. Anyways, that was my whole story for today. So um, I hope you all have a good day there, wherever you are. I'll see you next time.